Hello everyone, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we will do a detailed comparison of two mid-range phones, the Lumia 640 which was announced by Microsoft uh, two weeks back. We also have the Motorola Moto G second generation which was released uh, last year. So these two devices compete in the mid-range segment, both are priced uh, almost similar although there is a difference uh, in the pricing and have almost similar specs as well. So before going to the detailed aspects of the comparison, we'll first have a look at the specs of these two smartphones. So first up, we'll uh, see the, uh, the Lumia 640, which was announced uh, very recently. So this uh, comes with a 5-inch uh, HD display. It's powered by the Snapdragon 400 quad-core processor with 1GB RAM and 8GB internal storage. And uh, this runs Windows Phone 8.1 and it is upgradable to Windows 10 uh, when it comes out later this year. It also has a 2500 mAh battery and uh, this is uh, this has also a 8 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and a friend 1 megapixel camera for selfies and video calls. So that is the spec aspect of the Lumia 640. Now going to the Motorola Moto, e, Moto G. So the second generation Moto G has a bigger display that is again the 5 inch HD display that is the IPS LCD display. It's powered by Android uh, 4.4 KitKat initially. Now it has Android 5.0 Lollipop update. So it also runs on the Snapdragon 400 quad core processor with 1 gigabyte RAM and 16 gigabyte internal storage. And uh, it also has its 8 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and a 2 megapixel front facing camera. This also has a 2050 milliamp hour battery. And both these devices are available exclusive to Flipkart, so you can't buy offline, these are available only online. So let's uh, see the detailed aspects of these two devices. First up, let's see the design and build quality. So design wise, you can see both these devices have uh, totally different, uh, rather different designs. While the Lumia 640 follows the same design principles of the Lumia 630 which was released earlier this year. So you can see here the edges are flat, even the rear panel is also almost flat except for the edges which is slightly curved and uh, overall this gives a really great feel to the hand and you can see it's pretty compact as well even though this has a 5 inch display uh, holding the device is pretty uh, good it does come with a uh, pretty good color options uh, it has the cyan uh, color also orange uh, white and black color is available so that's the lumia 640 so design wise you can see the power and volume keys on the right side the 3.5 audio jack uh, the usb micro usb charging slot the speakers the uh, the camera uh, the flash and the Microsoft logo. So all in all the build quality of the device is really good. It's a uh, it's a glossy finish uh, unlike other devices in the Lumia range which also come uh, in matte finish. So this is the glossy variant and uh, looks pretty good. The solid build quality uh, which, we, which we see on most of the Microsoft devices is available on the 640 as well. So that was the design and build quality. So uh, now coming to the Motorola Moto G. So this uh, device has almost a similar uh, design aspects of the previous generation Moto G. So it has a curved uh, back panel and the thickness is higher than the, uh, the Lumia 640 but the, the weight factor is almost similar uh, in terms of uh, the usability. So it's almost uh, same weight with both the devices. And you can get a good feel of the device with the matte finish and the uh, rear curved panel gives a good solid finish and also it feels good in hand and you can see the chrome finishing around the camera there's a Motorola logo and the power and volume keys have a chrome finish uh, so there is also a silver finishing uh, uh, around the speakers uh, the front speakers and uh, does give a great feel uh, so all in all we would say both these devices are really good in terms of the build quality fit and finish uh, and the overall usage so it's a personal choice on which device uh, you uh, you like it's the uh, whether you want the colorful lumia 640 or uh, the moto g which comes in black and white variants although there are rear panels available in different colors you need to spend additional 900 uh, rupees to get that uh, uh, covers from uh, Flipkart, uh, but the Lumia 640 comes in a variety of colors, uh, including uh, cyan and orange. So, uh, that was the design and build quality aspect. So, overall. Uh, uh, we would be slightly inclined to choose the Lumia 640 uh, because it does give a great uh, finishing and also uh, slightly thinner than uh, the, uh, the Motorola Moto G. So, but again, as I said before, it's a personal choice on whether you want the Lumia 640 or the, the Motorola Moto G in terms of the overall uh, look and feel. Now talking about the display aspects of these two smartphones, the Lumia 640 comes with a 5 inch IPS LCD display which has an HD resolution that's 1280 by 720p and it also has the Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection for uh, scratches and uh, 
uh, the steps and uh, the, the Motorola Moto G also has a 5 inch HD display with the same resolution. It's again an IPS LCD panel and it also has the Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection. So in the display aspect, uh, the spec wise both these devices are exactly the same, the 5 inch HD display and uh, both have the Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection as well. The touch response is again uh, amazing on both these devices so uh, there is no real clear winner here. But having said that uh, the Lumia 640 has a clear black technology uh, which makes the display slightly superior to the Motorola Moto G. But having said that the Moto G also has a really good display uh, so it's again uh, uh, there is no clear winner but we would definitely suggest uh, uh, the Lumia 640 for the uh, reason that it has a clear black technology from Microsoft. So that was the display aspect. Now moving on to the software and performance. Uh, so this is one area where these two devices vary a lot. So here uh, it's Windows Phone 8.1 versus Android 5.0 Lollipop. So if your choice is uh, either Windows Phone or Android, you also have uh, you also know which device to choose. So there is there is no direct comparison between these two devices in terms of the software performance uh, because both are different in terms of lot of aspects. So uh, now with Lumia 640, this runs Windows Phone 8.1 and Microsoft has done a lot of work with the latest update. It has a notification center and whole lot of new apps like the storage sense, data sense. Wi-Fi sense it also now comes with VPN support and it's also upgradable to Windows 10 when it comes later this year and the performance is really smooth there is no lag uh, the gaming experience is also pretty good and uh, the overall software experience uh, is very good on the Lumia 640 but having said that uh, the main issue with the Windows phone is the app ecosystem which is still not caught up with the Android in terms of the overall uh, apps and their experience so that's one uh, big concern with the Windows phone 8.1 now talking about the Moto G uh, the Android lollipop update has brought in the latest software and you can see the new notification center and again the performance is really good on this device uh, and uh, the the overall experience uh, with uh, the lollipop update is also good there's no lag or issues and the gaming experience on the 5 inch display is also pretty good so in, in terms of the overall software and performance uh, we can say that both these devices are really good uh, there's no clear winner but uh, if, if you want to choose between these two devices it should be either the software aspect that's windows phone versus the android now both these devices are powered by the same snapdragon 400 quad core processor with one gigabyte ram but there's a difference here in terms of the storage the lumia 640 comes with just eight gigabyte storage while the moto g comes with the 16 gigabyte uh, internal storage uh, but uh, the Lumia 640 does have the option of installing apps on the SD card and it supports 128 gigs of uh, uh, storage via SD card. Uh, so that's one good thing. Again, the Moto G also supports SD card and uh, you can expand the storage on both these devices. And uh, so, so talking about the overall software and experience, we would say it's up to the user to de decide whether they want the Windows phone uh, or the Android. So now moving on to the camera experience, uh, now let's uh, see the camera aspect of these two smartphones. So uh, currently camera is one of the most important aspect uh, uh, when we uh, buy new smartphones. And you can see both these devices have the 8 megapixel rear camera without a focus and LED flash. So but here we have a clear winner and that's the Lumia 640. So we tested that we already uploaded a camera sample comparison of these two smartphones and found that the Lumia 640 has a better camera in terms of overall performance. So the Lumia 640 camera has better colors and the overall image clarity is better than the Moto G. Uh, also the Moto G also su only supports 720p video recording while the Lumia 640 has to 1080p recording. So in these two aspects uh, uh, the Lumia 640 is the better camera here and also when you talk about the camera software the Lumia camera app uh, is much better in terms of the overall experience and features being offered. The Motorola Moto G has a very basic camera interface and does not offer a whole lot of features which is available on the Lumia 640. So in terms of the overall camera experience we would choose the Lumia 640 for better photo and video experience. Now moving on to the battery life. The Lumia 640 comes with a 2500 mAh battery while the Motorola Moto G has its 2050 mAh battery. So there is a huge difference in battery almost 500 mAh battery difference and this really uh, uh, does uh, the battery performance in favor of the Lumia 640. The Lumia 640 has better battery performance with uh, a higher battery capacity and you get better um, battery life on the Lumia 640 when compared to the Motorola Moto G. Uh, and also uh, the Windows Phone uh, OS is not really a battery hog so uh, obviously the battery performance uh, uh, is better on the Lumia 640. So now we have talked about uh, different aspects including the design, build quality, the software, the performance, camera, display and also the battery life. 
so which is a better device to buy here so we'll uh, highlight the best uh, better aspects of these two devices first up the lumia 640 so the lumia 640 we would say has a better design and comes in different colors it has a slightly better display and uh, it also has a better camera and battery life so these are the aspects where the lumia 640 wins and now talking about the motorola moto g it has a uh, uh, better uh, software experience in terms of the android where the app ecosystem is much better than the windows phone and it also comes with 16 gigabyte internal storage option uh, while the, uh, the lumia 640 comes with only 8 gigabyte storage now talking about the pricing uh, the lumia 640 comes with uh, comes at a price of 11 triple uh, nine and uh, the moto g comes with 12 triple nine so there is a huge 1k difference between these two devices and uh, both are available on flipkart so uh, considering the price aspect and the camera and the battery performance along with uh, 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 the, the display and the design aspect if you are ready to compromise on the software and app experience we would suggest the lumia 640 over the motorola moto g so again it's a personal choice on whether you want the android or windows phone so if that is your primary criteria you know which device to buy so if that's not your primary criteria we would definitely suggest a 640 because it has a better camera and the battery experience so that's all with the detailed comparison of uh, the lumia 640 with the motorola moto g 2040 inversion so hope you like this video if you have any queries drop it in the comment and we'll be glad to help you out with the queries if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching this video have a great day